from self-defense to gun safety, even safeguarding your home from fire. All week long, we are bringing you stories meant to keep you and the ones you love safe. And today, we're taking a look at ways you can protect yourself from identity theft. KXY4's Casey Lund joins us in the studio once again with Officer Teresa Fuller to tell us more. Derek, good morning. Yeah, uh, identity theft. I think we all have either dealt with it or know someone that we care about that's dealt with it. Uh, Teresa, now we're going to kind of focus on, you know, we, we recently talked, we were out by uh, my vehicle and we talked about what not to leave in your vehicle, what they look for. Um, right now we'll talk a little bit about uh, computers. Uh, yeah. Let's talk, so uh, I use my iPad all the time right. to bank, uh, do stuff like that, usually on my home Wi-Fi. But uh, what are some issues folks run into, uh, even on their home Wi-Fi, right. with, with doing stuff like that? Yeah, even if you're on your home Wi-Fi, you want to make sure that that Wi-Fi is secure for the reason that people can tap into it, just like any other unsecure wireless at you know a coffee shop or the airport or whatever. Uh, you want to make sure you have a secure lockdown Wi-Fi at your house. That way, people can't obtain your banking information, and then people can't piggyback onto your Wi-Fi and do things that you wouldn't do that you're going to later get talked to police about. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's a whole nother, that's yes. a whole nother, nother segment. Show. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, but so, uh, you know, talk to me a little bit about phishing scams as well. There's a lot of those out there, and, and sometimes it's not even necessarily to do with identity theft. I was telling you earlier, when I first got my Officer Teresa Fuller Twitter account, I got a message from a friend that said, hey, check out what this person is, is t saying about you on the internet. And I, I totally myself, fell yeah. for it. And and so then I had I realized as soon as what happened happened, I was like, oh, I have to set, reset all my passwords. Well, that can open you up to a bunch of other things too. I mean, if you've got um, financial stuff saved on Facebook to pay for things across Facebook, that could be compromised. Um, if you have kids that play on a PC at home, you might want to do your banking and everything separately from the PC that they use to play games and stuff because kids are really, I mean, I've, my son's bought things on eBay that he was not supposed to buy. <laughs> yeah, so you got to be careful with that stuff. Excellent. And we're going to have more, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, really some, some a push Spokane PD is making to make sure people People uh, don't leave the wrong things in their vehicle, especially with everything coming up. So we'll have more with Officer Teresa Fuller and keeping you safe from identity theft. Rob and Derek, back to you. Well, all this week we've been bringing you segments aimed at keeping you and your family safe and secure. Today, we are showing you how to protect yourself against identity theft and all kinds of other things. Joining us live now, Casey Lund with a look. Well, Robin, good morning. Uh, Officer Teresa Fuller with us this morning, uh, giving some simple tips, things folks just uh, maybe don't think about all the time. And a big push Spokane PD is making right now is uh, especially with Bloomsday and Hoop Fest and all the stuff that goes on, the great stuff that goes on in Spokane during the summer. A lot of people are going to be downtown that aren't, aren't from the area that would be just happy to walk by and uh, snatch something out of your car. And it kind of relates to identity theft. You're not just losing the item. Let's talk about a little bit of what uh, we've, I've staged some of this in my car for TV, but I'm not kidding. A a lot of this stuff is stuff that I really didn't even think about. Um, look, take a look in here and, and point out maybe where I'm going wrong. And Jerry, if you can kind of swing around here. Yeah, so we've got an iPad and, and it might be seemingly tucked out of the way, but it's it would be visible clearly from your driver's side door. We've got a purse in here, some receipts, we've got some bills up here. You don't want to keep your mail in your um, vehicle. Try to have a lock box, a, 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 either a PO box or one that's a a certified lock from the post office that way people aren't getting your mail um, we got a lot of phishing scams out there via email even um, where people are emailing hey you know it's coming up on summer break kids are going on trips and things like that oh grandma I'm stuck in Canada and I've gotten in trouble I need you to send me money um, those kind of scams are are out there right now we've also got the ones where somebody calls you or texts you or emails you saying hey this is your bank your identity has been stolen uh, we need all your information. We need you to reset your passwords, all that kind of stuff. Don't fall into that. If you need to talk to your bank, you're the one that needs to call them unless you're expecting a call from them. If you just get some random call or email, don't fall into that trap where you're providing them for information to get into your accounts. Another thing that I was thinking about, um, those phishing scams, a, a different aspect of that, say I leave my iPad in here, uh, somebody logs into my Facebook, which I keep logged in, and then they can message one of my close friends and say, hey, I'm, uh, I'm stuck in, you know, I, I'm in jail, I need to be bailed out. Or yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't have, anyway, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. We, you, you would feel awful 
awful just for the fact that you know you left yourself so vulnerable and now that's affecting other people too that, that are friends of yours on on Facebook so something to think about uh, as far as leaving devices open and around too another thing we were talking about is standing in line for a coffee with your credit card out you've got somebody behind you t seemingly tweeting or texting on their phone uh, they could be snapping a picture of your credit card and we don't see that so much but it's probably becoming more uh, of a popular way to steal an identity yeah and we see a lot of, we get a lot of reports of people that say well my credit card's been used but I have no clue how it happened and it could have been an open Wi-Fi that they were using it could have been somebody standing behind them in line catching a copy of that card unfortunately we have some um, not so great uh, people in town waiters waitresses that will go back and make a copy of your stuff as they take your card back so you know try to protect yourself as much as you can and uh, we speaking of protecting yourself that's what we're doing all week we still have two days left of our series to keep you and your family safe and secure protected officer Teresa Fuller it's always a pleasure thank you so much for being with us uh, Robin and Derek back to you